always a very pleasantable moment and an energizing drink to always talk about this small lady. <laughs> But the most powerful in the whole world. So size doesn't matter. It's just spirit in him or in her. And that small frame which shook the whole world is Mother Teresa. It's the fifth time, fifth quote of Mother Teresa. Mother Teresa said, let us always meet each other with a smile. For the smile is the beginning of love and the whole society told the teenagers crush like and love and there is no crush like and love. Mother said the smile and my students were recruited for an American company. And the first thing they taught them was whatever be the reason to your customers, you must always keep a small. <laughs> and when you walk, you push your ab abdomen inside and walk straight. Smile, yes. Smile changes. Mother Teresa understood that. And not only Mother Teresa. I too felt it whenever I see my children. I just wanted to smile. <laughs> Nothing, I just melt. I just see them, I just melt. Maybe my old students, if I see my old students, I can see them for a long time, I just melt. <laughs> Some people tell me I have an infectious smile. It is not about infectious smile, what Mother Teresa said. It is just uh, when you are into the practical world of serving the people without expecting anything in return, which is called Karma Yoga, that time you will really have this feeling and the meteorology world can call it as orgasmic experience and that can happen in, when in the with the couples yes that's love relationship of the beautiful smile and then you see yes mother teresa said let us always meet each other with a smile for the smile is the beginning of love and that is what i people should do with the animals mahatma gandhi said the culture of the people is known by the way they treat their animals. Yes, you look at the animal and the smile. The animal knows it will wag its tail. The birds will wag its tail. It comes quack, 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 running after you. They know you, the way you smile and for a second you can understand. You relate to them. For a second, you understand that you have become them and they have become one. You two be have just melted to become one. And then it is nature. Nature is powerful. And you can always see you hardly fall sick. Last year, my kids were telling by the end of the month of February, you felt sick for 10 days. And I asked them, do you know the reason? And they said, no, I, I, was, I was very lazy. I was not doing anything because this uh, daily lectures was going on without a break. And now, how did I fall sick? Then I took a look back. There was not much of work in the, the field and I was not in the sunlight. And I got, I took an app and was trying to do a lot of, to bring down my ab abdomen. I was doing a lot of exercise to get my stretch beautiful and my abs down. And after that exercise, I felt very tired and I go to sleep. Hit me, bum on my face. Because when I sleep inside, I do the exercise inside, I lost the love relationship, the smile from the sunlight, the smile from the wind, 
and the smile from the land and the varieties of birds and animals in the trees that you meet. Yes, for the smile is the beginning of love. I couldn't keep a love relationship because when I go into deep sleep after the heavy exhale, like the gym people, I think tired, go to sleep. No, no. But in the field work, it's early morning till, till the sunset. Yes. To working and no, I can't know how did you work full day? Yes, and I make sure if it is 11 o'clock, I give them the workers a break so 11 to 11 15 they can sit. That is the time I rush in to have to break my fast. I take a small break first. After that, only after 5 30 when all this workers goes, then I come back, I do this. Uh, uh, this course, I take a good bath, then by 6 o'clock or 6.30, I had my real food. Yes, but no problem. Very strong. Mother to say, let us always meet each other with a smile. For the smile is the beginning of love. When you smile at your question, when you smile at your chapter, when you smile at your book. But most of them take the book as if it is not related to you. It is related to you. When you take the book and you smile, you start the love relationship with the book. And then you can know when you go to the school, when you go to the classroom, homework is not very important because your every one smile of that book, you have a love relationship of varieties of answers, interpretation, and you are not scared to question, you are not scared to answer. And from there you can understand you and the teacher, you and your guru becomes one. You related to your guru, to your teacher. And when you smile and the teacher smiles back at you, when your relationships grow, it is called love relationship. In that love, all the teachers jnana melts with you. And you become a talking library. A walking library, such is the power. How to begin your love? Yes, there is no thing, no, no special tactic involved in how to begin your love. Just sit next to your sister and brother. Just sit, just sit next to your pet animals. Maybe for hours together, also you can say, No, mind, yes. Just sit next to your plant and your trees and you can feel you, there is a love. It opens up, when everything opens up. It's not about love, you don't use the word love, then you find it is opening up. Yes, and you can see the walls, big gold mine. Mother Teresa said, let us always meet each other with a smile, for the smile is the beginning of love. When you fall sick, you don't show a bad face. The smile is the sickness and the sickness will tell you it's nothing, it's just you have to drink diesel water and then clean up, go for a fast. <laughs> just sit in the sunlight, sweat it out, oh jeez. And then you say, a love relationship build up with your diseases and the bad will go and the good will always come.